Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be talking about some very troubling news here in the Classic WoW community, and that is the rise of the Archon add-on and its newest capabilities. So some new news just dropped about it, and it is pretty freaking insane. Uh, just the ability of what this Archon add-on can do, and how it's really going to impact the classic WoW community both on Season of Discovery and Cataclysm. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we are going to switch it over here to the Archon add-on page. Now, Archon, uh, these are the people that make the uh, Warcraft Logs website and power it, which is a phenomenal tool for when you're trying to min-max and improve your rating abilities and just to sort of look over what happened. And it is a great tool for that. However, implementing it and it uh, making it sort of integrated into the game causes a lot of sort of meta shaming and meta gameplay that might not be the best place for t uh, World of Warcraft in the classic sense because classic is quite different from retail and I think that this is overall a bad take but let's take a look at this add-on so in Season of Discovery it'll tell you it'll give you a tier list so, like you can switch DPS and it will show you the top DPS's for Sunken Temple, which is pretty much just the uh, Warcraft log of taking all these damages and how much they do, and they put it all here with DPS and stuff like that. And so having this integrated into the game, and it says data based off of the last 14 days. So then we can switch it over to tank. It'll show you tank stats, what's the best tank, what, how much DPS it's doing, how popular it is, how many people are playing it, why they're playing it, and it's just kind of insane with that. And then healing, it'll show you the best healers, why they're the best, what they're doing. As you can see, like, Healer Priest is killing it. But having this integrated into the game means that I could pretty much hover over someone and it would tell me the information. It would tell me what class they are, where they're ranked. Um, you can see popularity to throughput. So as you can see, like Mage is very popular, but it's a B tier DPS. So you could sort of look at this for an example. I'm using me as a Mage for that. Uh, sort of comparison then we're going to take it back here to the main page and it'll also show you uh, Gear so like when people when you look at someone's gear, you'll see the people what they're doing So I'm going to pick fire mage and then it is going to show the best runes to run as a fire mage what people are putting in their slots and very very in-depth guide so it with essentially hovering over someone if you were using this you could see what gear that they were using why they were using it and what they needed to be using so like hubris and drakestone is bis uh main hand offhand sort of combination it doesn't even show that the staff is there and what people are doing um, with that, then it shows the two trinkets that people are using and just what you can do with all this and what's popular and just what is the best thing to use and why you should have it. And it is very, very concerning to me because while these things are good if you are in a parsing guild, having it so mainstreamed and being able to just hover over people and see everything you need to know about them, um, I think it's going to lead to some extreme gatekeeping and I think that that is not very good in Season of Discovery or uh, as you go further. Kata, it might be required to clear the raids at a, an effic efficient, fun way. But in Season of Discovery, there is no shot that it is that. So I'm going to switch it over here to the Kata version of this, which is pretty much the same stuff. You can go over here. You can look at this. Um, it is going to give you raid rankings. It's going to give you class and spec. It will show you top guilds. Um, recruitment, recruitment for guilds, um, and you can just do all those tools and stuff within the uh, sort of add-on launch, and you do have to pay for it, um, so it is pretty expensive last I saw. However, to me, I just, this just isn't wow, right? I, I just don't like this intense gatekeeping over content that is not hard. 
it is not that difficult to do and having all this information just instantly available for you if less like the only place that i would see this even remotely useful would be if you are like raid leading a gdkp or running an org that does a lot of gdkps over on cataclastic so you can see if these people are decent raiders that are going to be uh you know buyers and stuff and work it out that way or if they're going to be just straight binner tunes that need to be carried and I think it's just really sad to see how min maxi and how forced people will be to play because why would you ever take something that is C tier when you know all the S tier stuff? And it can be really, really alarming and really sad to see. And I think it's going to just some classes just literally won't be played unless their numbers are high enough and that's a really sad thing to see because you don't need to have every single thing perfect to pump. Um, I think I have a very, very unique perspective on this because from 2019 Classic, I've been in a guild that sort of parsed and went really hard and tried to go for 99s, everything. I had never done that before. To me, I just, you know, I did raids, I beat the boss on Heroic, um, and that was my goal, you know, getting ahead of the curve. I never had any interest in Mythic, I never had any interest in parsing, I just played the game, had fun, tried to do the most damage I could. And that was it. I never really min max raid teams. I never really went to that degree of playing the game. And then, so when I came to Classic in my guild, that I started to do that. I tried my best. Um, I did pretty great numbers. I usually had 99s on everything in Classic as a mage. And then, um, here now, five, four and a half years later, five years later almost, um, I am at Season of Discovery and I founded the Saw Saviors. And we had our first raid last Tuesday, um, three days ago, and it went really, really well just off of people I recruited from trade chat as well as putting out the video. And we got some high quality people and we blasted the raid. People did really good damage overall. You can actually see that this DPS number is uh, people's damage. I think it might be overall. Uh, no, that's that's Hakar. So here's overall Silken Temple damage. So we had just people that were actually pretty good blasting. We got the content done. The raid was fine. Um, and this was just simply recruiting people out of trade chat and out of Discord and just getting those people to uh, come to a raid. Just essentially 20 people assembling a roster, going in and doing the content. I did try my best to make sure people had the proper buffs. Like we have a caster group, we have two melee groups, and we have a healer group. But that's about all I did. I didn't min max it. I required people to bring consumes and world buffs. But that was it. I didn't super gatekeep. I didn't log lurk them i just gave everyone a shot and i think the results were actually amazing but anyway guys that's it that's my feelings on this add-on i think it is going to be terrible for the game i feel like it's going to cause raid groups of if you looked at that as a raid group you'd have literally 15 warriors and shamans and then your healers and one mage for the end for the shamans and that would be it that would be your raid group right there and it's just crazy to me that um something like this is coming into the game and it is going to cause a ton of gatekeeping and min maxing and that is my biggest concern about the archon anon but anyway i'd love to hear what you guys think about it whether you think it's bad whether you think it's good where your thoughts are with this add-on i think i have a pretty unique perspective sharing that with you guys how we did and where i came from and what i all have experienced but i would love to hear if you have a different experience but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.